Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Tinwan Jaisingha. I am representing Department of Transport and Logistics Management, uh, University of Morat, Sri Lanka. Together with myself, uh, the co-authors of this extended abstract, uh, Dr. T. Siva Kumar, and also Professor Amal Kumarage, who is also representing uh, Department of Transport and Logistics Management, uh, University of Morat. So the content of today's uh, presentation is as follows. First, we will uh, Give a small introduction to give a small introduction and also the motivation behind uh, this work and then we'll present our methodology and uh, then uh, we'll go with the results and have a discussion section and finally we will uh, conclude the presentation so traffic simulations uh, usually help analyzing the traffic problems in urban areas uh, rather than we go and uh, implement something uh, rather than testing it out we can use traffic simulations as a test bed to try out uh, different uh, traffic management interventions and then uh, we can test them and once we are satisfied with the results that we get we can go and implement so usually uh, building uh, a traffic uh, simulation model or that extent requires some uh, great amount of time uh, if you are planning to build a model from scratch but if you have developed such model so once you complete developing such a model uh, the further work or further research further tests can be done uh, with little uh, preparation so in Sri Lankan context what we have seen is that the attempts to made large scale when I we say large scale is uh, either it's corridor level or city level that kind of uh, traffic simulations using real uh, real data is limited so we have seen some studies uh, using synthetic data but on real data uh, the attempts made were limited so this research aims to build a microscopic traffic simulation model for a 17, uh, 17 kilometer road section in uh, Gold Road, Colombo, by utilizing the existing traffic counts that have been uh, already collected. So, these are real uh, traffic measurements. And also, we will try to uh, automate the processes as much as possible so that uh, the model development process is quick if we have uh, to implement into a new network or else uh, if you have uh, the demand updated demand data so the methodology of the work is as follows first uh, we have to uh, build a network uh, and also define the traffic uh, demand in order to make a simulation so if we uh, talk about the network side so we will get this uh, from a a tool that is available with uh, sumo microscopic traffic uh, simulation installation which is called OSM web wizard so we take o OSM web wizard and then we can using that uh, after selecting a certain portion of the map you can select the required area that we want to simulate uh, but in this case we are simulating the gold road corridor so we we have to do some uh, manual edits and remove certain uh, large amount of uh, edges to get it to the the shape that we want so this is the network that we are using at the moment so it starts from uh, cross junction Morotua and it goes all the way up to uh, Kolpiti and so that is uh, those are our boundaries of this uh, network so if we zoom in to the network a little bit more so this is one of the intersections uh, of that network you'd see that uh, the number of lanes are appropriately demarcated and also uh, the signal timing also included where the signal uh, signalize intersections and also uh, you can see the turning movements have been defined for each lanes and also you can see uh, the places where we have uh, special treatment for buses to uh, go past beyond certain intersections something somewhere like Katubed and Ratmalana that parts have also been uh, modeled and also we have modeled bus stops so uh, if you uh, take the network the network is has uh, given a detailed amount of uh, data within uh, the road network so in terms of traffic demand uh, now the actual traffic counts were taken from uh, uh, this appendix c1 analysis of turning movements and counts from transport database 
plan for Colombo Metropolitan Region report. So, uh, for example, this is uh, the traffic counts they are given was uh, called PT Junction, where they have uh, classified traffic counts uh, for each movement uh, for uh, different uh, time periods. So, we took these traffic counts and represent it in a better way so that we can, uh, in a, like an intermediate way, so that we can then transfer uh, to a format which uh, Sumo Simulate accepts. So, that uh, file is called a turn count file where basically you give uh, from a particular edge to a given edge what's the uh, traffic count that you have observed in a particular time period. So uh, that will be served as an input to uh, in the simulation process. So we had uh, data for seven junctions along this corridor. And for four time in intervals, uh, for, for uh, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., 7 a.m. to 8 a.m., 8 a.m. to 9 a.m., and 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., we have entered this data in this format. It should be an input to the simulation. And now I will then explain the process a little bit uh, in detail. So we have uh, in blue color, we have shown the inputs. In green color, we have uh, used some of the processes that we use. And on ash color, we use, so sh show the outputs. And in uh, white color we show some intermediate steps that were involved. So as I uh, said earlier, we use OSM WebBizard to uh, generate the traffic network. Uh, and then we use uh, built-in uh, scripts inside Sumo to uh, generate a set of feasible route. We all call it as white list of routes, uh, which vehicles are allowed to pass. So this will include uh, edge by edge uh, sequence order so a vehicle can follow that path uh, and that will be considered as a route. So then uh, there comes the problem there could be some uh, implausible routes so we calculate give a score and calculate the, the implausibility score and based on that uh, the certain edges which has a higher implausibility score uh, will be uh, removed at this stage and then we have a refined route set and we will use that uh, with the turn count file mentioned earlier uh, along with this uh, root set we use another process uh, of sumo called root sampler and then we will get a root file that matches the turn count so basically this is a calibrated uh, traffic uh, root file so at each intersections where we have counts the routes are uh, in, uh, exactly matching to the traffic counts so then uh, together with that we take the network and we put uh, give a vehicle type distribution because we need to incorporate different types of vehicles so in this case we use 34% uh, of cars 20% of motorcycles 19% of uh, vans 19% of three wheelers 4% of good vehicles and 0.1% uh, of multi axle vehicles so uh, this will be also served as an input and also a signal control plan. Um, uh, we visited uh, the places, uh, certain pla uh, and then took a, a sample signal timing plan, which is also incorporated. And all with all these three uh, inputs, we run the simulation, the sumo simulation, and then uh, we take the uh, simulation outputs. So if we visualize uh, the simulation, uh, it will look uh, something like this. So uh, the entire network is modeled and vehicles are moving and if you zoom into a particular section which I've shown before you can see that uh, buses are moving buses are stopping and other different vehicle types are also there for example if you can zoom in you can see motorcycles uh, vans and cars uh, moving on the simulation So uh, then uh, moving on to the results uh, section. So, so even though the vehicles are like moving and a, a simulation seems to be working fine, we need to uh, calibrate the model in order to uh, match it with the reality. So, uh, so what we did was we uh, added a, a probe vehicle. Uh, if you zoom in, a blue color vehicle which is traveling from. Uh, the entire corridor and uh, that is uh, sort of will be inserted to the simulation on every fifth minute 
and it will be traveling all over the corridor and uh, we can use this to get the uh, travel duration of that corridor and using using that we can uh, calculate the travel speeds and uh, then we can uh, match it with the reality by calibrating certain parameters so uh, then what we uh, take the simulation outputs to uh, get the travel time uh, of these vehicles so as you can see uh, we use a probe vehicle type and uh, we can get the uh, travel time of that particular uh, route which is closer to 17 km so then uh, we can use that travel duration uh, to calculate the speeds uh, and also we to get the ground truth values uh, we found uh, the source from this source uh, urban transport system development project for colombo metropolitan region and suburbs their technical report 2 had uh, hourly average travel times between uh, certain sections that includes gold road corridor so it had travel time in hour, uh, minutes for different uh, uh, time intervals that we are interested in for example we have uh, six to seven and up up until 9 to 10 we can take the travel times of it and since we have the distance we can calculate the aver hourly average speed of it and then uh, we can use it those ground truth value to certain calibration so what we did was we took these uh, simulation outputs and uh, we uh, check it with the ground ground truth values which is these uh, travel speeds calculated from the real data Uh, and then, uh, if we uh, if it's an acceptable solution, if it's not an acceptable solution, while we if we feel that traffic speeds are higher or different from the ground truth, then we update a, a, a parameter which is uh, represent uh, called sigma, which represents the driver imperfection. So we manually change these values and run the simulation and again and do it a uh, couple of times till we see that the the solution uh, the the simulated speeds and the Uh, actual speeds are in agreement so once we uh, we end the process we uh, sort of have a calibrated uh, model it's this is an initial calibration that we did so uh, so we had a parameter value of uh, point, uh, 0.38 for the sigma and uh, if you can see this uh, calibrated uh, model you in in ash color you see the the speed values of the network before calibration and on the uh, blue uh, it's the ground truth is the actual speeds and uh, and the, on the orange orange color it's the calibrated speeds so you can see that uh, the calibrated values are close to the real traffic speeds of uh, of the network so in conclusion uh, we uh, have successfully developed a uh, initial version uh, of for, mi for microscopic traffic simulation model for a 17 km stretch in the gold road colombo Uh, which was developed using existing traffic counts now the model was calibrated uh, to match the actual traffic uh, hourly traffic speeds uh, to a decent uh, extent uh, so we ex expect to use this uh, traffic simulation model uh, to evaluate different traffic management interventions so the as future works what we are going to do is we are going to fine tune the model further uh, so that we make sure that the traffic speeds not on overall but on uh, each section uh, is also considered the speeds are um, accurate uh, and then uh, we are going to try uh, out different bus priority measures and uh, evaluate its benefits and also we can uh, uh, we can include uh, test different other uh, traffic management interventions as well so that marks the end of our presentation uh, thank you very much uh, and we will be happy to answer any questions that you have